Seven investigators have been exposing a disturbing pattern of some public officials and real estate brokers taking over estates after someone dies, leaving the rightful heirs with very little. Yeah, seven investigator Heather Catalo's stories have been prompting calls for the law to be changed. Now she's uncovered yet another problem with this probate practice, Heather. Well, first, our investigation got attorney Cecil St. Pierre suspended from working as a public administrator. Now he's been forced to resign that post and he's about to face a judge. We need to talk to you real quick, sir. Yeah, we do. Cecil St. Pierre is an attorney. He's also the Warren City Council president. And sometimes he really doesn't like answering questions. Hey, Mr. St. Pierre, we just want to talk to you for a minute. The seven investigators first showed you last fall how Macomb County real estate broker Ralph Roberts had teamed up with St. Pierre to open probate estates after someone dies. I find properties. I believe there's a benefit, so I then tell public administrator, here's a benefit here. As an attorney general appointed public administrator, St. Pierre could legally open the estates. Then they would bill those estates for thousands of dollars, leaving actual heirs with very little. They messed with the wrong, the wrong family this time. Before Peter Georgeski's mother passed away last August, she deeded her Warren house to her son. When Georgeski later found out that money was owed for a small loan on the home, his lawyer tried to address it with the bank. But without warning, Georgeski says the house was sold at sheriff's sale. No notice to myself, no notice to my attorney that this foreclosure was happening on April 7th. Luckily, Georgeski says he had a friend in attendance at that sheriff's auction who witnessed Ralph Roberts losing a bid for that house. So my understanding is that he was furious that he didn't win the bid. In the end, there was a surplus of $70,000 from the sale. That surplus should go to Peter Georgeski as the original owner of the home. But Georgeski says St. Pierre and Roberts tried to take that cash. The same exact day Cecil opens a probate case. It doesn't even wait 24 hours that day, within that hour that that auction closed. This is St. Pierre's petition to take over the probate estate for Georgeski's mother. The only asset he lists, that $70,000 surplus. And look who paid the fees to open the estate. Ralph Roberts' company, Probate Asset Recovery. That's ridiculous. None of that is their money. It's sickening to think that there's people out there like that, and he's, he's got to be stopped. Ultimately, Georgeski got the surplus, paid off the debts, and sold the home, although he still had to go to court to get Cecil St. Pierre removed from his mother's probate case. But St. Pierre did not show up. I am going to set this matter for a show cause so that Mr. St. Pierre can explain why he failed to appear at the court this morning. That means next Monday, Mr. St. Pierre will have to show the judge why he should not be held in contempt of court. The same day that the judge issued that show cause order, St. Pierre resigned as a public administrator because of what he calls a barrage of false allegations. We did reach out to him for comment on this. We have not heard back yet, but we hope to see him at court on Monday. Heather, I'm going to ask you a question. Any idea how much money they've racked up doing this? I mean, I'm sure you don't have a solid number, but that's a lot of money we're talking about. Well, Mr. Roberts admitted to us last fall that they had brought millions into estates, and they're taking very large portions of that. So we don't have a full number. It's very hard to calculate it all. Absolutely. So it's a big number. It's a big number, yeah. and, but the state, the attorney general, has suspended this practice as of right now, so no one can do it right now. Yeah. They're going to review it. Just mind-boggling. Somebody can step in and take your stuff and exactly. do it legally. Mm -hmm. Good job staying on top of it though, Heather. Wow. Teachers at a charter